Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and today we're going to take a look at the Dimensional Doors mod and guys This is a really cool mod. It is pretty interesting I've never seen anything like it before and just take my word for it. It's pretty awesome. It is pretty cool So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some of the recipes that are involved with it But basically it involves going to this really weird dimension and um Like there's infinite amounts of dimensions as well and they're like completely empty and you can put anything there It's really strange stuff, but um, these are the recipes you got to know um, basically to make a dimensional door, and this is what you're going to use to travel to the dimen dimensions. Um, you're going to need two iron doors and an ender pearl in the middle. This is the most important one, really. Well, technically not, because you'll be stuck if you don't make the warp door. And a warp door is made out of two wooden doors and an ender pearl. Um, that's what you're going to use to actually travel further out of the dimension, but I'll show you as we go. And also, the trans-dimensional trap door is made of two trap doors and an ender pearl, and this is what can really get you out of there really quickly. So those are the three main uh, recipes. There's a couple more, and these are a little more confusing. Um, this one is the Rift Remover, which um, involves three gold ingots and an ender pearl. There is the Rift Signature, which involves four iron ingots and an ender pearl. And then there is the Fabric, uh, the Unstable Fabric, which involves um, four fabrics of reality and an ender pearl. This one really isn't very important. Basically, what this does is it just makes um, a material that you can use instead of an ender pearl. So the fabric. The unstable fabric will replace an ender pearl in the recipes um, for this mod. So that's all this really is, is basically an extra ender pearl for those recipes. But yeah, um, I have something pretty cool to show you. There's actually some um, structures that can generate, and they're very rare, and I actually found one. So I have that set up for, so we can check that out after. First, I want to show you how it works before we dive into it. So I'm going to put down a dimensional door. This is the iron one, and this one's going to bring you into an empty space. And look, it's completely black. When I first went out, I was like, oh, I thought I was going to die. But then I realized that I wasn't going to die. And um, that you're just standing in the middle of nowhere. It is completely safe. You can't fall to your death. Um, you can place down blocks here. You can build whatever you want. This is pretty cool. I would kind of think of using it for maybe like um, some kind of hidden room in your house or something. It would be pretty damn cool, at least in my opinion. But yeah, you can place these down. And we're actually standing on a block. So it's kind of weird that like when you click down, it actually places it through that block. But if you hit shift, you can place it right on top of the block if you'd like to. Um, if you notice, I cannot walk past here either, so there's actually black blocks that you can't see. Um, you can even destroy them down as well. If you want to build down, you can build down. You can build any direction, don't worry. Um, and the cool thing is, if I put down another one of these doors, like another iron one, this is going to take me to a completely different dimension. Bam! I am back into hell. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I am not in the same place anymore. So there's an infinite amount, and they will all get you further away from the overworld. So the farther away I go... Um, the harder it is going to be to be to get back. So if I can put down another one, we're further away. Another one, even further away. Um, what you can do, though, like I said, there's a couple ways to leave. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put down a um, trap door, the special trap door. All right, do I have one on me? No, I don't. All right, well, let's get one really quickly. So this one is called the transdimensional trap door. And all you have to do is place it down like this, jump through it, and that'll get you out of the world. But if you go too far in, um, it's, if you go past eight or so, six to eight um, dimensions in, you're that far away. It may not even work. That's what it says. So if we go, so you have to be careful not to go too crazily um, far away and get yourself really lost and confused. Um, but I will show you um, how to use the wooden doors now. The wooden doors are really simple. So we already are. I don't even know which one it came from. But yeah, we're here. We're going to put down a wooden door. And what this is going to do is bring you closer to the overworld. So I'll go in here. It doesn't bring you back to the room you were just in. But I am closer to the overworld. I'll go through a couple. And it brings you back to the surface again. And um, the more of these you use, of course, the further away you'll be from the area you started in. Um, another interesting thing is the rifts. And this is what's kind of confusing. Um, if, I, if I'm to break doors, um, a rift will appear. Um, in general, at least I believe I'll make a bunch. We'll we'll force it to happen. We can do it So yeah, a rift will appear It's like this weird thing in the sky and they actually can naturally generate and when they naturally generate which is what I found where this door leads us to um, some pretty cool structures and Also, um, there we go. There's a rift. So yeah, there's a bunch coming <laughs> um, What you can do is you can remove them with the rift remover, which is this yellow one all you gotta do is um, click around and That's and oh they also destroy the land around you as they did destroy my door. Oh god, stay away from my good door. Okay, they're gone. Don't don't worry about that. But yeah, that is um, one of the features of the Rift Remover. There's also the Rift Signature, which is kind of an interesting one. Um, I'm a little confused on this. I'll be honest. I, I'm a little confused with this mod. There's a couple things, and that's the one that confuses me the most. Um, basically, though, if I head into a place like this, I'm supposed to be able to use the Rift Signature, which is this one. And um, 
Now, when I leave, I'm supposed to, if I use this on a rift, I think it's supposed to bring me back there or something like that. I'm supposed to like use it on that. And then if I put this here, it should bring me back to the same dimension. And it did. It brought me to the exact same one um, that this store it brought me to. Because keep in mind, it's not because this is close to it that it brought me there. Because if I put one over here, no, that's, that's actually, let me remove these before I try this out. Getting rid of all these. So this, this mod is a little complicated. It is. But um, it's very interesting and much different than what you would expect. So if I were to put another one that's close, it's not going to bring me into there. So that shows that that other, um, the rift signature, basically you use it in a place. And then when you use it on top of a rift, it'll bring you back there. So that's basically how that stuff works. And like I said, the other crafting material, um, all it does is um, replace the enderpearl in the recipes. Because you're going to need to make a lot of these things. And this, this is what I found. I looked for like 20 minutes for you guys. I did it for you guys. I did it for you guys. I looked for like 20 minutes. And I found one naturally generated. Um, and here it is. Let's go in. I, all you have to do is put the door on top of it. And we are here. And there's traps and stuff too. And treasures. This one's pretty cool looking. Um, I have to say. I like it already. But yeah, the doors, uh, everything is very dark, so it's easily to fall on a trap or something like that. And we are going to take a quick look through here. You can tell this actually leads somewhere. I'm probably going to fall on a trap like that one. Oh, God. That actually that literally scared me. That's probably not a good thing. Um, there comes the lava. So, yeah, there's clearly traps. You can see how it was set up, actually, since I'm in creative. It scared the hell out of me, to be honest. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm doing a review right now, and it scared me. All right, guys, I figured out exactly where the treasure is. If I had went up here and didn't engage in that trap and went up these stairs instead, it would lead to these two treasure boxes right here. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's some wheat. There's an enchanted book with punch one redstone. Saddle. More wheat. Saddle. And here's the fabric of reality. And this is the only place you can find fabric of reality is in these um, chests. So you can use this, and then you could be able to make tons of those little things, which save you on ender pearls, which is pretty nice. And there's two more snacks of it, another enchanted book, efficiency two, um, some string, a golden apple, bread, iron ingots, and two saddles. So you get a ton of stuff um, if you find one of these, if you're lucky enough to find one of these structures. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to find one. You can probably find one if you add it to your world because you're going to be doing a lot more exploring than I would for this mod review. So as you guys can see, this adds a lot into the game. It's pretty unique too. This is one of the most unique mods I've seen. It adds these cool little dimensions. It can be used for interesting things too, like hidden rooms and stuff like that. And there's some little unique rifts and structures. And that wasn't the only kind of structure. There are many different types of structures. I believe there's um, like 16 or so of them. So there is much to explore with this mod. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to download it, check the description. I'll see you guys next time.